So here's a fun story. I was at uh, Goodwill dropping off some some kids uh, clothes that my kids outgrew and the attendant was coming out to, to help me take the, the boxes of clothes in and there was two on one side, one on the other. Uh, I had gotten the two boxes out of my side and I was reaching to close the door and as I was reaching to close the door, he bent over to grab one of the boxes and so instead of me feeling the door so I could close it, I just run my hands through his hair and uh, it was very, very unpleasant. And it was so unpleasant that I said out loud to him, I said, well, that, that was horribly awkward. And um, I think he was a little too okay with it. He said, no, that's fine, man. And he had this smile. And he lingered a little bit. He lingered He lingered on that head, head rub. And uh, I resent that a little bit. Welcome to Rumble Book Club. I'm your host, Mike Hernandez, and this is the show where a normal guy like me can talk about interesting books I've read, old and new, good and bad. So if you like the show, you like the content, you like the books that I talk about, or maybe you've had an uncomfortable experience at Goodwill too, well, you've come to the right place, my friend. You can follow me on Twitter, Parlor, and TikTok, or you can subscribe right down below on YouTube and Rumble. But more importantly, be a part of the conversation. Help this channel grow, share these videos with your friends, and comment also down below. Let me know if there's any books you want me to cover, and I might even mention them on the show and give you a shout out for recommending me to a good book. So summertime is baseball time, and today we're going to cover one of my favorite books as a kid growing up. Today we're going to take a look at Baseball Saved Us, written by Ken Machizuki and illustrated by Dom Lee. This is the incredible story based on true events, actual events that happened historically, about overcoming struggle using creativity and willpower to persevere and the redemptive quality that baseball has uh, written into its DNA. Now let's get into our three-part criteria. We judge our books uh, based on, first, aesthetics, what the book looks like, how it pops off the shelf. Secondly, uh, the readability, how it reads for just an average reader, or in this case, uh, how a, a, you know, a, a kid or a parent would read it to their, to their kid during uh, nighttime reading. And then finally, the content, what, it's, what the book is actually like from cover to cover, how it's written, and if it's a children's book, how it's illustrated. Now let's take a look at the aesthetics. So Dom Lee uses a very creative uh, method of scratching through a layer of beeswax on paper to create this this texture that you see here on the cover and then he fills that 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 uh, the, the scratches with oil paints which uh, I thought was actually really uh, really thoughtful I, I've never seen that technique used before uh, it's a great image with the protagonist here in the front the, the main kid uh, and then he's it's got a good strong title here that's clear it pops off the shelf uh, I actually like the title uh, it's got some good draw to it and then uh, you have the author and illustrator down here there's zero fat on this cover it's perfect you need every little bit of it to make an effective cover perfect score on the the aesthetics 10 out of 10. now looking at the readability the story story follows uh, the child's perspective of events and reads very smoothly you get enough writing on each page to create a good story without being uh, without loading the pages too much for small children to sit and listen as you see here this is actually one of the bigger paragraphs here um, you know it's not a huge wall of text but it is hefty enough to where you get a, a good amount of story the illustrations are, are absolutely magnificent and the font is set clear against white pages for a, a very easy read on the eyes so as far as the readability also another perfect score 10 out of 10 now, taking a look at the content, the story is read through the eyes of a Japanese-American citizen who is only mentioned in, in, in the book as Shorty. His, what his actual name is isn't as important. It's, it's more of his actions that, that really count in the story. The book tells two redemptive stories at once. The first is about the Japanese-American citizens who were forced into internment camps during World War II for no legal reason whatsoever by Pre President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Their families were evicted out of their homes in nice neighborhoods with good standing in the community up until that point. And uh, they were evicted without cause or appeal and forced into internment camps out in the desert areas to remain under lock and key with US soldiers on guard for the duration of the war. The families who went through the struggle were humiliated and shamed by this, but through their ingenuity and spirit, they were able to hold their dignity in the face of this mistreatment. They, ma they maintained their morality, their standards of how they raised their children, their pursuit of creating a good life for those children, and they built a baseball field and uniforms from scratch as a means to be able to take pride and ownership in something. The second redemptive story is about the little, uh, little boy who is 
much smaller than the rest of the kids on his baseball team. He consistently struggles to match his teammates, but through hard work, through finding his motivation and his anger at their situation, he's able to channel that frustration to, become, to, to make it become a tool for him on the field, and then he's able to actually rise to the occasion and earn something for himself. Even when the Japanese Americans return from their homes, and uh, Shorty is still deemed as an outcast by his uh, white American teammates, for a different reason than being small. He's, he's kind of an outcast because the war is over. Um, there's still hostility between uh, American citizens and Japanese American citizens. And uh, rather than rebel against them, rather than using that as a destructive force in his life, that animosity, he actually uses that as motivation to continue to earn their respect on the field with his bat. This is a great story for all children to learn that your dignity is always with you as long as you never waver in your morals or in your work ethic. As far as the content goes, it's another perfect score, 10 out of 10. This is an amazing story, not just though in the way it's written, but also in the illustrations uh, by Dom Lee. They're absolutely beautiful. This should be on every parent's shelf to read to their kids at night. It's, it's a great story all around. I found this book at Barnes & Noble. You can uh, also find it at your local bookstore. Um, you could probably also go to online, if all else fails, go to conventional methods through Amazon or eBay. The book is Baseball Saved Us by Ken Machizuki and illustrated by Dom Lee. Go out and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching, everybody, and go read something.